Okay, good morning, Casey. How are you? Good morning. I'm good. Thank you. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Um, so we're just going to get started on some questions that we have. Um, I'm glad that you're doing this interview with us. Um, we've been kind of doing um, a few nurse interviews, trying to just show everybody, you know, what it's like to be a travel nurse. So um, how did you find Travel Nurses, Inc., and what made you choose our agency? So I actually found you guys through uh, some of the other nurses from the hospital. It seems like you are the majority um, of the, the nurses in the area always use you guys. So that's kind of how I learned about you. I got a lot of feedback back from them. All the nurses that have used your agency, they all had great things to see about say about you guys. So I um, did some research on you. You have great ratings. So that's why I chose to use your agency. That's awesome. That's good to hear. That's good to hear. Yeah. So what made you switch from your local contracts to travel? Like what, what was that turning point for you? So I've always wanted to travel nurse, um, you know, nationwide, but I, I just, uh, I needed to kind of dip, you know, test out the water to make sure that yeah. it was the right fit for me. So I did a travel, um, uh, like a couple of local ones and then we my husband and I had discussed it okay we're ready to we're ready to take this on and kind of go see some places so that's kind of what you know after we realized that it was going to work for us then we wanted to to go more places that's I mean why not I mean you know <laughs> um okay so I when I was like just looking at your history and stuff like that I saw that you were a CST so what was your experience working as a surgical tech and like what made you decide to like push to get your RN and BS in? So I started off as a, a surgical tech and I loved it. I absolutely had a great experience in the OR and it's fantastic. But your scope of practice as a surgical tech is very limited. You can only you can only work in the OR. And the longer I did it, the more I learned. It just really made me want to learn how to do more. And I always thought I didn't want to do nursing when I started that. Yeah. And the more exposure I got to it, I just loved it. I wanted to, to learn more. So that's why I decided to go back to get my RN. I mean, yeah, it broadens your um, scope. That's great. It does. And there's so much versatility you know you can do you can work in so many different places as a nurse it really opens up more yeah. doors for you so that's why I kind of I decided to do that and I wanted to even though I love the OR I wanted to go get experience in other areas okay okay that's great um so your first contract was at Grand, Grand Junction right with us your first travel one that was my first, uh, yeah, my farthest one. Yes. Okay. Okay. So how was that? And like, have you traveled that was anywhere else, like far or anything like that? No, no, that, that was the farthest one. I started out close. Um, I did one close to Nashville um, and then I did one of the Memphis area and then Grand Junction was my first like nationwide contract. And it was a fantastic experience. I had never been to Colorado before so it was uh it was really great and you traveled um just explored around there like you went to Utah right and yeah. stuff like that oh, okay yeah, yeah so we I, were on the western slope which is on the border of Utah oh I didn't know that that's great I saw your pictures at Utah and I was like oh I have to go there like the yeah. the like red red rock oh, the rock. Like it's that. been on my bucket list my whole life so when I I actually didn't know at first that it was right there so we were kind of looking at, at places around the area to explore and I was like Arches National Park it was only an hour and a half from there so it was really exciting to be able to go there yeah that's great okay so what drives you to um go to certain locations like what made you choose Grand Junction so <clears throat> excuse me my husband and I always look at the locations together and it was um in the winter time, I had never snow skied, so I, I'd say it's a combination. We always look for places that we might want to go visit. I would say, you know, the the well-paying contracts are definitely an incentive 
So it's definitely a combination of places that we we might want to go if we want to go, you know, check off something on the bucket list or I wanted mm-hmm. to learn how to ski um, and just the we always look at the area and check on, you know, like what 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 is there to do in that area? And did you learn to ski? Did you I get did. it down? I did. <laughs> That's yeah. good. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Okay, so what are your future plans? Like, are you planning on a new location? Are you planning to extend? Like, what do you, what are you doing after this contract? I do plan on finding another contract. I'm still searching, just kind of waiting for um, waiting for the right one. So, mm-hmm. I always you know check the the weekly emails. So we're we're looking for our next one. We just haven't found one yet. Oh, okay. Um. So, what's your favorite thing so far? about being a travel nurse? So it's hard to pinpoint one thing. I would say just the the whole travel nurse experience from, you know, it doesn't matter if you're, you know, you're doing the same specialty over and over, you're going to learn something new everywhere you go. You learn different skill sets and you meet new people and you build new relationships and you, get to um, explore new areas or somewhere that you've been, you know, it's, um, you're constantly learning and having new experiences. And that's really my favorite thing about travel nursing. Yeah. You get to meet new people and see new things and explore. I mean, why not? It's like, and and you pay to do it. So it's, it's, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's great. I wish I was a nurse so I could do it, but I'm also on this side. So I love it (laughs) on this side, seeing you guys. Um, So you got married two years ago, right? Or around two years ago? Yeah, almost two years ago. That's great. Congratulations. (laughs) Um, So has he gone with, has he gone with you on all of your travel nurse um, jobs? He actually has not. The one in Colorado was the first one that he was able to go on. Um, He kind of started working remotely um, part of the time, so he still had to commute back and forth, but he was able to be out there for the majority of my contract, so that was really great. So what does he do? He he works remotely um, in Memphis area or? Yes. Yes, he does. He uh, works for a property management group. Um, He actually just uh, switched positions. So now he has a completely remote position. He uh, was a renovations manager and now he's a bid reviewer. So he is completely remote. So that's, uh, that's great. That happened as soon as I got back home. So he accepted that position and now he will 100% be able to go with me um, on all my next contracts. Yay, that's great. I mean, I'm glad it worked out. Now he can definitely y'all yeah, can like pick somewhere without him having to commute and stuff like that every now and then. That's good. Okay, so you have a dog, right? Yes, I do. Yes. So does he travel with you or does he stay back or he does. He does travel with us. Um and Colorado was the first one that he went on as well. Um so my husband, you know, made the the drive out. Um which was about 19 hours. And then he had to commute back and forth for work. So uh, Rex got to stay with me and he really enjoyed Colorado. That's great. Uh, I um, was looking and I saw that you had a dog and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to find out. Cause it's a, a, what is it? A golden retriever? Is that what he's he a German shepherd mix? Oh, oh, okay. Well, He's got, he does he's, he's got that golden look, but yeah, yeah, he does. He does. That's why I assumed <laughs> that he was a golden retriever. Um, but yeah, he's so cute. And okay. So with him traveling with you, how do you find like housing? Like, how does that work for you guys? Like with an animal? So I always, um, start by searching on, um, furnish finders. And that's actually, even before we, before I accept a contract, we kind of feel out you know, it, what is their housing availability? Because in smaller places, there really isn't a lot of housing. So I always start on furnished finders. Um, and, you know, they have like a, a pet friendly um, search that you can do. And if I can't find anything on furnished finders, then I will check Airbnb. And honestly, a lot of times um, people will 
have housing, like the same housing will be on Airbnb as furnished finders. So I, I definitely always start with that because price-wise, that's always the better option, um, especially for, you know, long-term. Yeah. Housing. And Airbnb adds on like those extra um, fees and stuff, don't they? The fees. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The fees are always, can be pretty steep. So I, furnished finders is definitely my go-to. That's great. So when I, on your off days, what do you do to take care of yourself? Like after a difficult shift or just what, what, what do you do on your days off to make you feel good? <laughs> yeah, I, um, I always love to explore. Um, obviously the longer you spend in an area, the more friendships you, you make. So I uh, definitely like to go out with um, other coworkers, check out the local coffee shops, um, obviously do some shopping. And, um, you know, there's always uh, great food places to check out. And then depending on what there is to do in the area um, in Colorado, I definitely, you know, took advantage of skiing. I just kind of see what there is to do in that area. I definitely like to be outdoors. Um, even if it's snowing, so hiking or um, I wanted to try snowshoeing. I didn't get an uh, didn't, didn't get a chance to do that, but you wanted to try what? Um, pretty much anything uh, to snowshoe. What is that? Um, so if you think about uh, cutting a a tennis racket um, on the bottom of your shoe oh. and then walking around in the snow. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know that's what it was called. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's really popular. So that's. Uh, one thing I didn't get to try, but I, I will in the future, um, definitely yeah. plan on making my way back out there, but I just, I do like to relax as well, but I, you know, I like to get out and, and do stuff on the contract, especially since you only have a limited time. So I'd yeah. say exploring is probably the, my favorite thing to do. Yeah. And does your dog get to go with you on a lot of those, like, like explorations that you do? Um, some, some of them, um, they are pretty strict about national parks and um, that they can only be in like the camping areas. Um, but if we're just doing, uh, a, we went to Colorado national monument and he was able to go with us on that. So that was, that was really fun. Um, Colorado is very dog friendly. So, you know, he went with me to the coffee shops, most restaurants are pet friendly. So he did get to do quite a bit while we were out there. That's cool. That is really cool. That was, that was really nice. Yeah, that's nice. Um, well, that's all I have. I'm so glad that you could get on and talk to me about this. Like, it's very helpful for other people to see just, you know, the things that a normal travel nurse deals with on a day to day. Um, but I'm super glad that you were able to hop on and but I appreciate you and um, we'll talk soon. Okay, great. Thank you so much. All right.